Hello. Hello. So we're doing the back to school show and tell tag. Yes. So this is the first time we've had two people in front of this green screen and I'm pretty sure it's not going to work very well due to this shadow. But we're definitely not in front of a green screen. We're definitely uh, on, on, holidays. on holiday. Well, here we are um, in a clearly not green screened tropical island. Um, a very expensive tropical island because, I mean, as everyone knows, teachers are paid a lot of money for the mm. work that they do. And we get lots of holidays as well. So we thought, hey, may as well use it all, um, spending all of our holidays on this clearly real uh, tropical island. It's so real I can do this. <laughs> Let me just grab this drink that's in the video. <laughs> So we're doing the back to school show and tell tag, which is our second ever shared vlog. Whoa. <laughs> I know what you're our thinking. Our first one was su such a success. <laughs> uh, so we'll be releasing these weekly because um, we have nothing but time during the teaching term, yes. as you all realise. So yes. <laughs> um, we won't be marking on weekends, that's for sure. We'll be making these crappy videos that mm -hmm. people enjoy, obviously. <laughs> This is more of a show and tell thing and again I'm not sure how this is going to work on the green screen behind us <laughs> so I'm going to put as many green things in front of the green screen as possible starting with the capsicum. So for a lunch item mine is a green capsicum. I recommend these. They're fun to eat. They don't make much mess and they give you the uh, nutrients and green screen effects that you desire. <laughs> Uh, mine's a bit more of a traditional snack of a banana. They're just so easy and portable, I would say. Mm. I take a banana every day to school just because they're a good snack, but because these make you feel good when you eat them because of something to do with serotonin and a science teacher could probably step in and talk to us about that. Oh, hi there. Welcome to Outside Our House, which was... Clearly pre-recorded footage before we went on that uh, island tropical holiday. These are some of our tried and true teaching outfits. Let me just talk you through mine. As you can see, uh, this is a shirt that has uh, many Beyonce's on it. And this is the shirt that I wear for Beyonce Fridays in order to reinvigorate my Fridays periods five and six. Uh, I do something that's, I mean, mainly for me, let's be honest, but also for the kids. I call it Beyonce Fridays, and at our halfway mark, we have some kind of a activity loosely related to Beyonce. So you'll see, it is actually Beyonce all the way around. And something else I particularly like is this little cat badge which kind of just fits perfectly over Beyonce's head, so it's like it's a cat head and a Beyonce body. Thanks to a colleague of mine. So we're also testing out Jem's new swivel, which is basically designed to be used in the classroom so I can be teaching over here, and I'll come and talk to my really dumb student, for example, over here. This is a shirt, and these are pants, and this is a belt. That's it. It's amazing. Hey, Steve. What's your piece of stationery you're going to talk about? Well, Jem, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I got pens. I recommend purple pens because I like the colour purple. I find red too judgy a colour of pen, so I use purple for Never marking. Never use red. Good advice from two old teachers. I use post-it notes a lot of the time, whether it be writing notes to my colleagues when I go to their desk and they are never there, or um, <laughs> because they are often teaching in my off periods, um, or uh, writing little notes in uh, students' writers' notebooks, invaluable teaching tool. But you see, they stick on things. <laughs> so my item in the classroom is a large black box that makes loud noises. It's full of a variety of blocks a UV <laughs> torch and other things that I can make uh, a kind of breakout escape experiences for my students based around key texts we'll be studying. Mine's not nearly as cool because mine is just a canvas bag. That's not cool at all. Go on. <laughs> this canvas bag is going to carry all of my students' writer's notebooks this year. In terms of a treat for myself or yourself or ourselves, I recommend eating these chips. They're very crunchy and nice. This is 
my treat. Inedible, I don't eat her. But I just love coming home to our kitty cats and she clearly loves being on camera as well. <laughs> Therapy, they make me stress less. So a piece of advice for teachers returning to school, just remember how good you are at your job uh, and don't let kind of the fact you've been out of the habit of doing it affect your confidence. Yeah, you got this. You've done this before. Or maybe if you haven't done it before, that's great. <laughs> you you would have you would have done, done placements. You would have done placements. So you know you've been you've at least been in a school before, right? I went. I <laughs> Did you? You've got this. You know how to do this. You'll be fine. And remember this sage piece of advice from one of Steve's colleagues. One that we both need to pull out every now and again and remind each other of during the school year when things are manic is that it's a marathon not a sprint it's a marathon not a sprint so take it easy and look after yourself bye cobra cobra